Now, Houston Speedway will be the second local track to reopen in the last two years. I-90 Speedway opened last year after a three-year hiatus. As Kettle and Sean Bauer reports, this year's racing season at I-90 is a stark contrast to last summer's races. Weather was the main culprit for canceling most of I-90 Speedway's races last year. Before its second season could even start, the COVID-19 pandemic struck. You know, when we first started the season, we didn't know. We didn't know if we were going to even get to open. Races finally returned in late May, and it's been full speed ahead for the track ever since. Typically, if you got 80 cars, 80, 90 cars, it was considered a really good night. Well, we blew that out of the water this year. One night we had 138 cars, and pretty, I think every night we've had over 100 cars. Unlike last year, the weather has cooperated. I-90 Speedway has already hosted more races this year than last despite only being halfway through the season. We're going to have our eighth race this this weekend, uh, you know, so we've completed seven in a row. That's uh, quite a change from last year. In just its second year back, I-90 Speedway has been a popular spot for both drivers and fans. We had racers from all over, Nebraska, Minnesota, Iowa, you know, people that have never been to this racetrack because they were just itching to get racing. And so it was a great exposure for I-90 Speedway. Sean Bauer, Kelvin News. After a two-week break, racing returns to I-90 Saturday night with MSTS 360 Sprints and the Paramount Racing Series.